Hi, hey, it's me, Dr. Kayak, but you can call me Mitch. Today we're going to talk about retirement, because that's what I'm thinking about. What are you thinking about? Look, many people who are above the age of 68 to 70 years old say they regret they didn't retire sooner. I think what they really mean is they regret not collecting Social Security sooner. I retired when I graduated high school. That's right. I adopted a mentality that after spending 13 years in the public school system, I was going to retire. And I did. Kind of. So what does that mean? Well, after I graduated, I tried to be that typical contributing member of society by getting a job and a girl with hopes of raising a family and repeating what it was my parents did. My girl decided that she wanted to date other guys as I was living with her and supporting her while she went to college. That was the straw that broke the camel's proverbial back for me. With my broken heart, I struck out into the world as a party animal. That's right. <laughs> After a few years of struggle, I became a DJ and an entertainer in local bars. This was when DJs were just becoming popular and I was nearly an instant hit. From there, the girls were plentiful and the drugs plentiful and the alcohol and so on. Yeah, I was an instant rock star. As the years slipped away as they do, I got married and then I got married again. Like an idiot, I still wanted to be that contributing member of this great society. By the time I was in my mid-fifties, I was divorced again. And more than half of my life had slipped away. Looking at the big 6 <laughs> my life had taken a turn for the worse. I succumbed to the fear of aging and being lonesome and death. I was alone for a number of years. Alone with my thoughts. And for once in my life, I was able to process those thoughts all the way to fruition without any interruptions or external opinions. I discovered a few things. Number one, I wasn't really lonely. I was just alone. And number two, I rediscovered the early mentality of retiring right out of high school. I actually did for the most part. While I was busy trying to be a husband and a father and a provider, I maintained a lifestyle congruent to those goals, those goals of retiring out of high school. I was an entertainer and I worked in radio. I loved my life as a fun-loving, outgoing public figure while the wife had to exist in her humdrum life as an office worker or whatever it was they were doing. It became my fault that they hated the lives they created for themselves. Fact of the matter is, I did retire out of high school. I enjoyed my public life while they made my home life as miserable as they could. They were dead weight. If your partner's not on board with your plans, cut them free. Lose the weight. So here's what I'm trying to get at here. The retiring part, right? Collecting Social Security is not retiring. Retirement is a sham. If we retire, we quit. We give up on being productive. We withdraw from society. I retired from what our society dictated life should be. I retired from being retired. So here's my advice. What little I know. You should probably start drawing your social security benefits as soon as you can and continue to live your best life. Don't retire. Don't quit. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. So if you like my little bits of life, my little slices of personal philosophy, please hit that subscribe button, ring my bell, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. It really helps my channel. That's all I got for now. We'll see you in the next one.